Welcome to CS Design Studio's presentation, The Marketing Corner, with co-host Sean Campbell and Wyatt Chambers. The Marketing Corner is your source for the latest and greatest in today's world of marketing and entrepreneurship. And now, without further ado, it's Sean Campbell and Wyatt Chambers. Right, right. Yeah, the process was very, um, it, it was easy. You know, we, we, we talked a little bit in the beginning, you asked some really good questions, insightful questions that really got me thinking about stuff. And it just kind of led to the the mood of the shoot itself, you know. And so, and then afterwards, you know, we had a slice of pizza and kind of went through the images that I liked and didn't like. And it was good. It was a nice collaboration, I think, you know. And then after you've, you know, you know did your magic to the photos, I was like, ah, <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I liked it, so... But um, another thing I want to uh, congratulate you on is your recent calendar for the Pima Animal Care Center. Care Center. Yes. Not the other. No. Shall, Shall remain nameless. Nameless. Nope. It's independent. It's on its own. <laughs> Pack. Pack. So, yeah. You just had the uh, calendar reveal this week. I did. Yeah. And the, uh, uh, oh, man, I should wish, I, I should ask you to bring one. All the photos were done here at the uh, Trotos Town. Yes. Yeah. And, and I didn't realize that until I actually saw the calendar. And you had told me a million times you had done it here. And I'm like, oh, it didn't sink in until I actually <laughs> saw the calendar. So uh, congratulations on that. Oh, yeah. Thank you. How yeah. has the initial sales been? Pretty good? Yes. Nice. Uh, we sold quite a few at the launch event mm -hmm. the other night. Mm -hmm. And uh, like the, the contest itself prior to the event mm -hmm. on Wednesday um, I had raised $35,000 wow. with the wow. contest and, and the yeah. preliminary sales. Yeah. Um, and then several people, like one of the women, she's like, Oh, I bought 20 calendars. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got a phone call from someone today. She's like, I turned 70 and I put my cat's picture on February uh, 1st and uh, I'm going to buy like, calendars for all my friends. Can, can I buy like 10 or 15 of them? I'm like, yeah, go sure. for it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the website. <laughs> What's awesome. the difference between uh, uh, taking a photo of a human versus a dog? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Everything. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'd like to say that humans follow direction better, but that's not <laughs> true. Um, so humans are self-conscious. And, and the, the self-consciousness and the self-judgment, mm -hmm. um, really can, uh, can make taking photos difficult sometimes because, mm -hmm. um, if, if people are uncomfortable, mm -hmm. it shows up in the images. Mm -hmm. And, you know, even if I can't see your lack of comfort in the images, mm -hmm that's all you'll see in mm -hmm. your images. Like I've, I've photographed people who were in bad moods mm -hmm. when we started their photo shoot. <laughs> and like, I tried to get them to relax and feel mm -hmm. better and make jokes and, you know, do my yeah. thing. And, and they just, I couldn't, I couldn't get them out of that mood and out mm -hmm. of that headspace. And when mm -hmm. I showed them the photos, even though like objectively they look good, mm -hmm. all they can see in those pictures was that they were in a bad mood. Right. They're right. like, I look terrible. I look mad. I look angry. I look yeah. rah, rah, rah. And yeah. I'm like, you see that because mm. you know the mood that you were in. Mm. Uh, but other people aren't going to see it. But mm. it, yeah. they never like them. Yeah, you know, it it, it usually it results in a reshoot or mm. really just somebody like, well, you're just I don't like this <laughs> these photos, and then they go find another photographer. Right. Um, <clears throat> and the same thing goes like I've I've had a hands. I don't know what it is. I mean, and I, I feel the same way when you're standing, trying to mm. take your picture and, and you're like, what am I supposed to do with yeah. my hands? What do I do with my hands? What do I do? And people always want to know what to do with their hands. Mm. Uh, if, if I'm not telling you what to do with your hands, I'm not taking pictures of your hands. Um, right. yeah. <laughs> otherwise I'm going to tell you, put your hands on your hips, put your hands in your mm. pocket. Um, mm. but dogs don't have that. <laughs> dogs don't care about and you know, extra chins or <laughs> flab on their belly or I've, I've never had a dog look at their picture and say, I feel fat in that photo. Um, 
Nice. Nice. <laughs> so I don't like I don't have to think about those things when I'm right. photographing dogs. I I have had a client look at a picture of her dog and tell me she thought the dog looked sad and abused. Uh-huh. But. <laughs> Oh, wow, wow. I'll leave that one alone. <laughs> I'm like, your dog looks fine. <laughs> it's just, that's just her face. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> uh, but, so I, I, like, I don't have to worry about getting mm-hmm. the angles just right. And, mm-hmm. and there's, there's a lot more, even though, you know, dogs don't understand English, they can't general, for the most part, take mm-hmm. direction. Uh, most of the dogs I photograph mm-hmm. are, uh, ping pong balls with four legs. Hmm. Like yeah. I've, I've photographed like four or five dogs maybe that have a solid sit stay. Hmm. Um, hmm. The rest of them are just <laughs> all over the place. Uh, but like, I, I don't have to worry about, hmm. you know, those kinds of things. And, you know, are, is, are your clothes sitting right? Right. You know, is, is, is everything even is all your buttons, hmm. is your tie not, Mm -hmm. off cockeyed or uh, you know those those little details are all things that uh, I have to worry about when I'm photographing people that I don't have to worry about on dogs and switching the uh, topic to brand and branding right Um, what are some of the most common either uh, things people get right or people get wrong when it comes to their brand and photography um I would say in their brand photography, probably the what they mo- what they would most commonly get right is um, having having images that that are are true to them. Mm-hmm. Um, that you know. Everybody, we all have a camera in our mm-hmm. pocket mm-hmm. now, and and so it it makes it it makes it easy to get photos that uh, that tell your story, right? Um, because you can take photos anytime, mm-hmm. anywhere, uh, and and taking pictures of ourselves seems mm-hmm. to have kind of become a national pastime at this point. Yeah. Um, so and and getting variety, like when you when you're doing pictures. For yourself or or even have a professional doing them mm-hmm. for you having variety of images mm-hmm. um is is good and and having your phone having a mm-hmm. camera with you all the time really helps you get that variety mm-hmm. um i would say one of the things that i see people not do so well is um not having enough like solid images like yeah. having the pictures that you take of what you're doing and where you're right. at on a regular basis is fantastic. Uh, but also having, you know, some, some good solid images that are, that are properly mm-hmm. exposed and, mm-hmm. you know, have all like technically are good images, um, is really important for your brand. It says Mm -hmm. that I am a professional and I invest Mm -hmm. in my brand. Right. Um, and I invest in myself. Like we were talking, uh, was you or somebody else. We were talking (laughs) about it the other day about haircuts Mm. and, and color Mm -hmm. and what people pay Mm -hmm. to have their hair done. Mm -hmm. And, um, like women, Highlights is really common for for women to have done and full highlights and a haircut. is a good 300 bucks Mm. every six to eight weeks. Wow. Um, so we invest in our, we invest a lot in our appearance. Mm -hmm. You know, when you, a nice pair of shoes is two, $300, Uh, um, some nice staple pieces of clothes. Mm. Like Mm. we spend good money on our appearance to, Mm -hmm support our brand. Mm -hmm. Uh, but if you don't have professional images that are technically good images, good exposure, Mm -hmm. uh, good crisp focus, um, then, you know, I, I kind of, 
like I, I know we're, we're showing off those highlights to all, everybody <laughs> all day, every day, but like you're not capturing that. You're right. not putting it out there. And with people meeting us on our social media and on mm-hmm. our websites and everything before they ever see us in person, mm-hmm. uh, are we really putting forth yeah. our, our, our best foot? Are we, yeah. are we creating the best first impression we possibly can? Because our first impressions are happening online now. Right. Right. Um, so if you don't have images that say I am a professional and I invest in myself, mm-hmm. uh, if if you're not willing to invest in yourself, why is someone else going to be willing yeah. to invest in you? Right. Good point. Good point. Wow. Any other questions, Aaron? Um, I mean, honestly, I, <clears throat> this is one of those conversations that can literally go on for a couple of hours. <laughs> I know, I know. So I, yeah. I, I, I mean, I have questions for days, really, but... Um, just really quickly, earlier you kind of touched on how some photographers may have a, and correct me if I'm saying this correctly, but some some artists or some photographers rather may have like a kind of like a stamp that you instantly know that that's theirs and mm-hmm. others not not necessarily so much. And so for yourself, you, you say you fall in more of the category where it's not necessarily like an instant thing where you instantly know it's me, but at the same time you have to have your own style that you prefer mm-hmm. your what what is your preferred like style as far as like what do you like to shoot that, that mm. what you enjoy like do you enjoy scenery <coughs> more than shooting people or do you enjoy shooting pets more like there has to be something that my you, guess is going to be dogs <laughs> yeah what do you like to do if you had the choice oh I, I love photographing pets okay. if if i could do just, I mean, the goal is eventually to do just that. I want to mm. live in a van and travel around and <laughs> take pictures of people's pets. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like it's easier to advertise, hey, I'm going to be in your town across the country. Let me take pictures of your dog mm. um, than it is the branding side mm-hmm. because I feel like you have to develop a relationship with people before mm. you can, before they're willing to let you capture their brand. Mm-hmm. And, gotcha. and use mm-hmm. that imagery for their for their business. For, mm-hmm. This is how I make money. This is how I keep the bills right. paid. Um, and and so it, I feel like it's important to develop a relationship with someone for that. Whereas pet pictures, I mean, it's not just like, oh, yeah, take pictures of my pets. But mm-hmm. I feel like just the imagery, like, look, right. I take good picture, pictures of pets. I create good artwork of pets. Um, it's, a, it's easier to mm-hmm. advertise. Mm-hmm. Um, so eventually, yeah, I'm mostly going to be pet mm. focused. Um, and I really, I'd rather roll around in the dirt with a dog all day. Um, okay. I, I get, I get all the kisses. <laughs> I've, I'm true. covered in dirt and most of my snuff smells a little bit like dog pee, but no. <laughs> I get, all, I get more kisses than you do. <laughs> so, uh, Okay. But, uh, yeah. And then when it kind of going back to branding again, and I'm sorry we're, to just kind of flip flop between the two, oh, but okay. I mean, it's, it's, um, so if I come to you, I have my business and you're, you're helping me with my branding, for example, what is your process in helping me come up with the scheme of how it's going to go? Um, if, especially like for me, I don't necessarily, I might have an idea Mm-hmm. But I kind of want you to flesh it out for me. Right. So what's your process for doing that? So I have a very hands-on, um, involved process. So in it, some photographers, you you book your appointment, you show up there at their studio, and you know they've got this backdrop and that backdrop mm. and this mm-hmm. light and that light, and we do this pose, this pose, this pose, this pose. You're mm. done. Right. Um, and my process really is the first thing we do is, is we get on the phone and make sure that we're a good fit, um, mm. oh. before, before I'm going to mm. take your money. And, and then we sit down and talk about your business. We talk about, you know, who you want to serve, who are your ideal clients, who mm-hmm. you need to speak to. Um, and it, it, kind of turns into a bit of a consulting sort of thing too, because a lot of the clients I sit down with are they're small business owners, they're solopreneurs. Um, and 
it, in my experience, if you are out doing the work to try to bring in the clients and make the money, you m probably don't have time to do the back end stuff, mm. like sit down and right. think about like, who is my ideal client? And also a lot of people, there's, there's kind of this mental block that if I spell out that this is my ideal client, that you're alienating all other potential clients, which mm -hmm. isn't the case. Um, photography is messaging. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. photography literally means writing with light. Mm. Photos are messaging. Mm -hmm. um, and you have to be talking to one specific person in order to create quality messaging that's mm -hmm. going to bring in the people that you want to work with. Um, so you, you create the images, you create the, the messaging that's going to speak to those people. And then the rest of the people that hear this message can either be like, yeah, I don't, I don't like what that person has to say, or mm -hmm. they can be like, Oh, well, I'm not like that exactly, but can you work with me too? Mm -hmm. Because now they know what you do. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, so I sit down with people and I, I kind of have to pull some of these things out of them. Like what's your ideal client? Mm -hmm. Um, what is your brand? Let's talk about your brand. Let's talk mm -hmm. about colors, things like that. We figure all that stuff out. And then I've got some pre-work that for the storytelling sessions that has people kind of go through some mm -hmm. more emotional background. Like what are points in your life or recent past that have, uh, that are important to your business and who you are and where you're at right now. Um, and, and then I use those to help create the interview that we do. Um, and then we sit down and do the interview where I ask you questions that I've come up with based on, uh, your, your pre-work answers. And as you're telling me these things, I'm pulling out, like the emotions you're mm -hmm. telling me a story about, you know, Sean was talking about growing up in Germany and Singapore, mm -hmm. right? No, no. Philippines, Philippines. Close. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Germany and the Philippines and being surrounded by, um, all kinds of different people with different backgrounds and different religions and different mm -hmm. belief systems. And, and how, how that's made him into a person who is, like open-minded and, and cool with approaching people and not prejudging cool. people. Very cool. I am very cool. Yeah. You, you are. <laughs> You're the coolest. <laughs> Otherwise I wouldn't be here. Um, and, and he's telling me this story and I'm like, okay, so what's behind this is Sean is an open person. Sean is an accepting person. Sean is, um, Sean is going to, want to be viewed as approachable. Um, and, and so like there, there are poses that you don't want if you want to look approachable. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. That's true. Yeah. Um, but if someone's telling me the story, you know, I want to feel powerful and confident and big and strong and we're, we're going to go for different poses mm -hmm. that, that show off powerful and confident and big and strong. Not that you're none of those, but <laughs> we, so, so as I'm writing these things down, like a, approachable and, and friendly and, and mm. open and kind of coming up, you know, I'm scanning around the space that we're in to be like, okay, where do I mm -hmm. want him for this image and that image? Mm -hmm. Um, and, and really just cooking it up on the fly. Mm -hmm. Uh, we find a location that is hopefully significant to the client and their story. And we do all of this stuff on location. Mm -hmm. Um, and then once we're done with your photos, we sit down together and go through them right there on your TV or computer or something and pick out the pictures you like. Uh, we talk about, um, and, and talk about things like there was a couple that Sean was like, Oh, that's close. And I don't, feel comfortable with the way that looks. And I'm like, Oh yeah, mm. that's, that's post processing. I can, mm. I can fix some of those mm. things or, mm. yeah. And, and we talk about the feeling that we get from the photos and, mm. and I'm there to kind of remind people mm. as they're picking stuff out. Hey, remember, this is what you wanted. Right. This is what we were talking about. This is what you said your brand right. was. And this photo, love it. Mm. 
doesn't reflect this over here. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you've got a use for it, totally take it, use it, but I don't want you purchasing something from me that at a later date you're going to be looking at and you're like, ah, I don't know what to do with that. Yeah. Like for, for the kind of money people spend on this, I want to make sure that what you get is something that you're going to use and be happy with. Yeah. Yeah. So it really is a, a, a tremendous process. And again, it, it, the time went by very fast and we hung out for a few hours and it was yeah. good. It was it's good. three to four hours. Yeah. How can someone reach you? Candace Eaton. Oh, on the phone, probably. You want or to give your email? phone number? Oh, okay, sure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my phone number is 602-456-5384. My website is www.ceatonphotography.com. Very nice, very nice. Thank you so much for being a guest. Aaron, I told you, huh? Yeah. There would be at least... The, oh, there, there's actually is, one curse word. So is, that, is, that. Is, that a, is that your notes stuff yeah. we got to edit out later? No, 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 no. no, no. no, no. These, are, these are really good points. Those are the highlights yeah. after yeah. we upload the complete you know, episode do- on YouTube and Apple, Spotify, Google, and across iHeart. You know, uh-huh. We uh, cut this up. And those, I mean, we have a ton oh, of okay. potential trailers. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, we just don't like, there you go, let it go. We got to preview this and the trailers and the right. teasers and all that good stuff. Cool. This is good. This is you, good. You, did, you did write down there where, I, where yeah. I said the S word so you can <laughs> it out, right? It was all good. Yeah. yeah. No, I appreciate right. it. Thank you, Aaron, for helping out as always. Appreciate it. Candace, thank you very much. Thank, thank Candace, you. Thank you. Until next time. time. Thank you for tuning in to The Marketing Corner. Follow us on Facebook or visit us at csdesignsstudios.com today.